Hi everyone, it's Nick Leindecker. I'm a licensed real estate agent with Coldwell Banker Burnett and Wyzetta, and I operate a team of professionals serving clients across the Twin Cities in greater Minnesota. <music> 56,930 homes sold and closed in the Twin Cities during 2015. That's up 14% from 2014, and that's more home sales than in any other year in the past decade. The end of 2015 represents the fourth year in a row of a bull market in U.S. housing, during which the home price index in the Twin Cities has risen from 155,000 to 225,000. That's a 45% increase in just four years. Median prices are now only 4.5% below the all-time peak of the market from 2006. The important question that very few economists seem to be asking is why have prices risen so high so fast. Did the U.S. economy return to a state of balance in 2011 and launch into a true recovery that we're now experiencing? Or is this just another temporary, Fed-engineered economic bubble built upon artificially low interest rates and monetary stimulus? Let's look back at a timeline of the Federal Reserve's economic stimulus activities as they relate to the market. In response to the housing correction that began in 2007, the Fed immediately began lowering interest rates until they reached zero for the first time in U.S. history. They then kept interest rates at zero from December of 2008 until December of 2015. In January of 2009, with rates at zero and prices still falling, the Fed determined to alter the market's course, launched a new monetary experiment called quantitative easing, or QE which they would then use to pump $3.5 trillion of new money into the system over the next six years. Approximately a third of that new money was used to buy mortgage-backed securities from America's two primary mortgage lenders, Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac. So when you take all the economic stimulus that's been pumped into the system over the past eight years into consideration, it's really no wonder that home prices and stock prices have risen so dramatically. Many economists uh, including former Fed Chairman Bernanke himself, have declared victories for the Fed's economic stimulus programs, citing this recent rise in stocks and housing uh, as evidence of an economic recovery. However, the results of an economic stimulus program cannot even begin to be measured until that stimulus is removed from the market and the market is allowed to stand on its own two feet without the stimulus holding it up. So with that in mind, my biggest question for the future of the market is this. If tomorrow the Fed were to allow interest rates to rise or credit to contract by shrinking their balance sheet, would these elevated prices sustain or would they crash? If these prices prove to be unsustainable absent the Fed's stimulus, will the Fed admit the fallacies in their stimulus program and discontinue it or will they double down? And if so, what's next? More quantitative easing? negative interest rates, or maybe both? And where does this all end? Ultimately, what is the Fed's exit strategy, or do they even have one? Only time can provide us with the official answers to these questions. In my two most recent blog posts linked below, I attempt to provide you with my perspective on the current state of the economy and some tips on how you can protect your home equity in the event that there is a housing price correction somewhere on the horizon. As for the market right now, we're currently experiencing inventory shortages in a majority of the segments of the Twin Cities market, uh, and that tight inventory environment is resulting in continued upward pressure on prices for the time being. Setting the big picture aside, it's important to remember that every neighborhood is different and that every real estate scenario should be analyzed on an individual and thoughtful basis. Please don't hesitate to contact me or one of my associates to schedule a free consultation to answer your questions about the market or get a free market evaluation for your current home. Thank you for watching my first video blog. Have a great day.